How to Repair a Plastered Popcorn Ceiling. This is my home. It was built in 1990 by Sivage Thomas Homes. It has vaulted ceilings. This is the hallway where there was a water leak caused by the evaporative cooler. It was flaking off and falling onto the floor. So I was going to put new ceiling texture in its place. This particular product is made by Homax. It's a ceiling texture. It's a popcorn texture. And these are the tools that I'll be using to complete the job. You just mix this texture with water and spray it on using a hopper gun. It comes in a fairly big box and covers 250 square feet. It weighs 13 pounds. Nothing special about this particular caulking. It's just manufactured by DAP. It's a water-based caulking and the color is white. You'll need a putty knife to smooth out the caulking and plastic sheeting to protect the walls from splatter when you use the hopper to shoot the texture onto the ceiling. This particular covering I'm using is a plastic sheeting with painter's tape on top and it's folded so that after you tape it in place it will extend down about four feet and that will protect the walls here you can see it in place it's protecting the hallway the paintings and I have it in place all around the patch area it turned out I needed a ladder to reach the ceiling to remove the old plaster and I put down a heavy duty plastic tarp underneath to protect the carpet. This coating is uh, plastic sheeting. It's very thin and translucent and will let the light through from say the bathroom or the office and the tape adheres quite well to the corners of the wall. This patch as you can see has some rusty nails that are holding up the drywall. Now before I plaster, before I actually texture this part I want to plaster over these nails with some caulking. Now the caulking coming out of this gun right here it is rather old. I had to remove the cap so it's not as creamy and smooth as I would like it to be, but uh, it's still fluid enough to do the job. I ended up using my fingers to smear it in place. The leak was actually caused by a cooler pump uh, in the swamp cooler that was putting out too much water. And it was blowing down the uh, air duct in, uh, over top of the uh, hallway and dripping down. So I changed the pump and fixed the problem. It's nice that the plastic is clear because it lets more light in. So it makes it easier to work. The mirror was nailed to the wall so I didn't remove it. Now here is the hopper. It's called a hopper gun. 
and it's made for blowing textures onto walls and ceilings. I bought it at Harbor Freight for a reasonable price. I don't remember how much, but uh, it was reasonable. I'm mixing my popcorn texture right now, and I used a, as you can see, a one gallon uh, container of water cut off the top, and that way I don't have to, to clean it and make unnecessary work for myself. I basically think this mixture, this powdered mixture, is plaster and little pieces of styrofoam, but I'm not sure, and it but it does act like it and it does look like it. I keep adding water until I get the desired consistency I'm looking for, which is going to be about like, I would say creamy cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, but on the wet side. And I'm not quite there yet. Still a little bit too thick. Now that's the consistency I'm looking for. Right there. Kind of wet looking cottage cheese. After I get the desired consistency, I'll be pouring it into this hopper gun. This container right here is what holds the um, plaster, the ceiling texture, and you can see me pouring it in. I don't have to fill it all the way, I just mix enough to do the job that I'm trying to complete. I have a small compressor. Uh, it would be better if it were bigger, but I get by with it. And you can see I'm just spraying it up onto the ceiling. If I had a bigger compressor, I wouldn't be doing it in burst. But I have to let the pressure build up with this small compressor to get the desired volume of air to push the texture and make it stick to the ceiling. I've added some more ceiling popcorn texture to the hopper to complete this job. It looks like it took about a gallon or maybe even more to cover this particular area. And I'm trying to match the surrounding texture of the ceiling in the hallway. It's a messy job and the popcorn texture goes just about everywhere. That's why covering the walls is very important. It takes a long time to prepare to do this job, but actually spraying the texture on is kind of fun but it's the quickest part. I have my light in place shining to the ceiling so that I can see better. Here you can see where the plaster has bounced off the ceiling and splattered onto the protective sheeting that I put down. And it's wet. And you can compare the old ceiling to the new ceiling. It doesn't and stand I, out that much. Yeah, it might drip a little bit. And I just have to let it dry. 
I can go back and touch it up with a little brush. You know what I'd do if I were you? What? Just a recommendation. Yeah. Let it dry. Leave it. Yeah, let it dry. Leave it. Let it dry. This is a one-time use uh, plastic film. Uh, unfortunately, you can't uh, roll it up and reuse it because the outside of the tape also has plaster on it. And uh, I was only able to use it one time and then I had to throw it away. Well, after a couple of days, this is what the ceiling looks like. And for my reward, working on the ceiling, I'm going to have a wonderful dinner. My wife is preparing green beans, fresh green beans, and she's peeling the strings off right now. There aren't many strings on these green beans. They're of a high quality. I'm having Hillshire Farm Smoked Sausage. And stovetop stuffing. A hearty meal for hard work. Got a few calories in it. Satisfying. It's just the kind of meal I needed tonight. We'll put in about a half a stick of butter and bring it to a boil and then we add our stuffing mix. That's according to the directions. This also includes two cups of water. We like ranch dressing on our green beans. And here's the meal. Turkey flavored stovetop stuffing and green beans. And for dessert, we're having chocolate chip cookies and fresh coffee served in fine china. like to thank you for watching.